Yo, 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 what's going on? Welcome to another episode of A Thousand Hours Out the Mud. It's your boy J5 checking in. No, we're going to wish uh, my boy Rashad, co host, good well wishes at a healthy training camp while he out there in Dallas with the uh, Memphis Showboats. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow us on all the socials, wherever you at, we at. We got us a special one today for y'all, man, from Lamar, South Carolina. Went to South Carolina State from 2016 to 21. In his last season, he was a first-team FCS All-American, led his team with three picks, 12 PBUs, and 38 tackles, was named the defensive MVP of the Cricket Celebration Bowl, where they defeated Deion Sanders and the Jackson State Tigers, <laughs> drafted, fourth, drafted in the fourth round, pick 142 by the Los Angeles Rams, uh, week two versus the Atlanta Falcons in his rookie year, became the first Rams rookie an eighth player in NFL history to record a sack and an interception in the same game within their first two NFL games. Sound about right. Was voted as the 2022 Carol Rosenblum Memorial Award winner by the Rams players honoring the team's rookie of the year. Led the NFL in return yards with 151 in 2022. Has three career picks, 11 PBU, 62 tackles, one sack, a block punt, and a tutty. None other than Mr. Kobe Durant. It's good, my brother. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's a lot of shit you done did in two years. That's <laughs> yeah, a lot of shit. Real. It was it was it was a good beginning. Yeah, it was you a good intro, introduction for sure. Good going into this year three. You know what I'm saying? It's a big year for me. Yeah, man. But before well, okay, we're gonna take it back before we get there, cause you done made a splash these first two years in the league, but you had a, a unique journey of getting there in the first place. Mm -hmm. And I think um what a lot of people don't know, South Carolina State is a historically black university. Yeah. But uh, before we get there, take us through how we get there from Lamar, South Carolina. Uh, from a small town in Lamar, South Carolina. Uh, town probably hold about 800 people. In the whole town? In the whole town. Everybody know everybody. You know Eight, what I'm saying? 800. Everybody play every sport. I mean, you know, we did it all. Right. Uh, Something unique about the town. Um, besides 800 people. Besides 800 <laughs> people, man, you only got one stoplight, two, about two, three gas stations, and a Piggly Wiggly. It sounds like so. I'm familiar with it. <laughs> school for real. That boy described school, but that's a crazy. Small town. Graduation class, probably about 43 people. You know? My mom almost missed my graduation. Ah. <laughs> Graduation is only 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Better be on time it's everywhere be on time. There. That's crazy. Be on what, it, uh, was it like a football town? Yeah, it's a football town for sure. Uh, got a good baseball team too. Mm -hmm. Basketball wasn't really. Uh, I know earlier you was saying that it was like what? How many of y'all, six of y'all from your town that I made it to the NFL? Yeah, six of us from my town made it to the NFL. I mean, that's a big six because out of what? Your graduating class, 34. That's six people out of a shit eight hundred in the town. Like yeah. that's a that's a that's some good odds right there yeah. for sure. Some big names too though. Like, yeah, uh, Levon Kirkland, he played back in the day. Mm -hmm. John Abraham, mm -hmm. uh, B.J. Goodson, uh, Marshall McFadden, and my brother Michael Hammond. You gotta throw yourself in there too. Yeah. Shit, yeah, you know me, what I'm saying? You gotta throw yourself in there. So man, how was it? How how'd you get to South Carolina State? Um, really, bro. Like when I got out of high school. I uh, went to this prep school in Columbia, South Carolina. It was called Palmetto Prep. And, uh, you know, I played a few games there. And then, like, it was kind of like it fell off. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, you know, I picked up a little job at FedEx. And then, but I always knew the coaches at South Carolina State because my two brothers played there. Okay. Marquis and Marquez. Uh, they played there and Mike played at Clemson. So, like, I knew the coaches there and they were recruiting coach that recruited the PD area, like, in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I reached out to them. And he was just like, you know, we'll we'll give you like a little preferred walk on, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just do the you'll be a walk on. You won't mm -hmm. be on a scholarship and then I was, you know, I'll take it. So I went out, like, did like a little walk on tryout. But right. when I like got out there, I ain't had to do nothing. 
He was like, no, nah, you don't have to do nothing. So uh, from that point on, so like when I got there in 2017, I had to sit out that whole year. 2017 spring, 2017 fall. Uh, came in spring ball 2018. And they were just trying me everywhere. Like I started out at safety, made plays at safety. Then I moved to corner, made plays at corner. And then by the time it ended the spring ball, they put me on scholarship. Mm. So like- It ain't take too long. Yo, it ain't take too long. But so. you was an athlete because you say, I know you told us off camera that uh, you played quarterback in yeah, high school. in high school, yeah. I played quarterback all the way up until like, I played it through Rick. I played it like middle school, played a little bit in ninth grade. Uh, tenth grade moved to receiver because we always had a quarterback, uh, Quan Brown. I was behind him. Mm -hmm. So like I was the backup of him, but I started at receiver. Right. Like I said, we only got like 31 players on our team. <laughs> So, everybody had to play a little you know, bit. Everybody got to play a little bit of some everything. So like, eventually, when he left, they class graduated. Uh, I moved to quarterback, took my coach to the uh, his first state championship, and I think he went back after I graduated like four more times. Oh damn! You started it off though. Yeah, yeah we started it off. And yeah. that's history within itself yeah. already. Yeah. And then you know, that was just that little journey, you know, going through Lamar. Then South Carolina State was just like. Uh, an eye opening experience. Right. Because you, know? you say you was working at yeah. FedEx. Yeah, I worked at FedEx. And then you just did a walk on trial and boom, stop working at FedEx. Now you full uh, time, full student. Then I just made FedEx like a seasonal thing. Um being at the HBCU, you know, you ain't really got like the resources to have players stay all summer, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So like first part of summer I work at FedEx, be working out and you know, working out with my brother and then Second part, I go to school or the summer and then, you know, do my semesters there. Then that's how I did it all the way up until like my senior year, my last year. You did that for three years straight? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. And that's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Cause it, it speaks volumes um to, you know, what you have to put in to not only make it to the level you at, but you was just trying to just get on the field, just yeah, play I, at any I, point in time. I just wanted to, you know, put them cleats on and show what I had. You right. Know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be no Another statistic, you know, a good athlete like just, you know, going to waste. You know what I'm saying? I had to, I had motivation behind mm -hmm. a lot of things that I was doing. So, uh, you know, I used to go to. I ain't had no problem working at FedEx. I elevated every time I went. Though, mm -hmm. like, I started out in the warehouse, and then I started like uh, being like a runner for somebody that driving, mm -hmm. and then eventually like uh, I started driving. Not the big trucks though, but like the little yeah. sprinter van type. <laughs> I wasn't driving that big truck. Yeah. But yeah, so you know, I, I had a good experience with FedEx, but like it kind of motivated me and humbled me like this ain't where you want to be. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I took advantage of that. You know, I still put in my time like working out and stuff. Right. You know, a lot of people know know the process. Right. So like being in the HBCU, like, you know, they don't get all, like you said, they don't have the resources. They don't get all the exposure and all the attention that yeah. the Power Fives do and all the big schools that we always watch, you know, ESPN every Saturday. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what was that experience like playing at HBCU? Because I'm pretty sure, you know, you don't have conversations with your friends and guys on the team. Like, they experience as your experience. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? It's hard. It's, 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 it's hard to go JUCO and it's hard to go HBCU and make yeah. it out. Yeah, nah, for real. Uh, Man, we had a lot of people that paid the way for us. Javon Hargraves, uh, Dash Leonard, uh, Antonio Hamilton, um, players before them, uh, Marshall Mitt, Fatty, uh, Raphael Bush, all those guys, you know, they kind of like paid the, paid the way for us to like, you know, have that opportunity to have yeah. NFL scouts to even come to our practices and stuff. So um, that experience for me, it was just like, you got to take advantage of them, them, them power five games that you play against. Like, right. You know, like like Clemson, they throw a Clemson on there, a USF, UCF games like that. You got to take advantage of because like those gonna be the games that they gonna put on that first. they gonna put on first when you see how you match meeting up. with them, meeting right. with them uh, scouts and stuff. So like going into my senior year, we had Clemson on the schedule, and like that was just a game like. All right, my name was already getting buzzed, and mm -hmm. it's like, can he compete with like power five guys? Mm -hmm. like, which I ain't had no problem. You know what I'm saying? Like just growing up, you know what I'm saying? Having that mindset of being the underdog, so no stage was too bright. You mm -hmm. feel me? So went in the Clemson game, but caught two picks. Had like Who they had there? Who were receivers they had that year? Uh, John Ross, not John Ross. Uh, Justin Ross. 
Um, some, some that was other after dude. T Higgins, before yeah, T. Higgins? after, after, okay, T. Higgins, okay. after T Higgins, yeah, yeah. Uh, quarterback was number five, dude, okay, DJ, yeah, 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 yeah I know okay, bet. So, um, so you caught two picks in that game, two picks, what had like three pass breakups, couple tackles, had all 32 teams, though, you know, so showed up, maybe had to, right, and, that was and at that point, it sounded like. It's a, you already going to that game like they nobody expecting y'all to win, but mm-hmm. if you if you shine bright, yeah, like, like yeah, like I tell my teammates like NFL scouts coming to see me. This is your chance to Get put yourself radar. out there, right? Because they can be they gonna be watching my film mm-hmm. and they are gonna see me like, oh, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's just how it is, and that's that's kind of how it went for me. Uh, scouts was coming to see uh when I D lineman so named Rod Perry, and then they was like. Uh, matter of fact, I think it was like Jim Nagy with the uh, senior bowl. Mm-hmm. And he was like, who is this kid? And like, I, I caught a pick that game. And it was like, boom. And that's when the buzz started going in 2019. Like, dang. So and it just carried on through. That's where, you know, it's, it goes to show all the time. You just got to show up on tape. Got to. You don't know what's going to happen, but Never you just know. show up on tape. Opportunity, gonna, it's that always tape, there. That, that tape going to tell a lot of things. I the sky never lie. I'm trying to. <laughs> so what was that combine pro- and draft process? Like coming out of the HBCU, like you got invited to the combine. Oh uh, yeah, I got invited to the combine late. I was uh the day I flew out for the Shrine Bowl, I got the invite to the NFL combine because I that that was like one of the little stressor things for me. Like I wanted to get that invite mm-hmm. to be on that stage. Everybody, another yeah. opportunity. You know what I'm saying? No stage too bright. I'm going out there at all. Like I need that opportunity. I got that. Um, went to the combine. They had me running around, you know, scouts were saying that they had me running like four five mm-hmm. around that range. Um, and I clocked the four three eight. So shout out shout out to Yo Murphy. Shout out to Yo Murphy. <laughs> shout out to Yo that Murphy. That boy made you some money. <laughs> For real. Golly. For real. Man, before we even talk about a combat, I want to take it back to a big moment um where you got named MVP in the in the cricket um Celebration Celebration Bowl versus yeah. Dion and them. It was so big because mm-hmm. You know, that was Dion and the Jackson State before he went to Colorado or whatnot. Yeah. So what was that game? Like you won getting MVP, but then taking down and taking down that team that had bro, that hype. Actually, bro, like first drive of that game, bro, I got scored on. And it was like, there's no way I got scored on. <laughs> there's no way. That's but they put they put something on film. They put something on film though, that I was like, they finna go like slot fade with Keith Corbin. So I'm like, uh, there's no way I'm finna let this dude run yeah. fade on. I'm not finna get, you know what I'm saying? Not I'm finna get mossed on TV now. <laughs> so I played off. He ran a quick out, like fast, like boom. As soon as I tackled him, all he did was reach the ball over. Right, yeah. After that, it was over. Nobody else caught the ball. Strap. Strap. And I should <laughs> I shouldn't even want I shouldn't even want defense MVP of the game though. They should have gave they should have gave it to the whole defensive line. Yeah. Like, cause them boys was playing, like them, them boys on should do it. Yeah, the trenches make make you yeah, make the sure. back end job for sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's what's up, man. So, all right. So, what was your you know got draft? Talk, talk to walk us through that process of being drafted, because bro, after going through all that, working at FedEx, mm-hmm. going to HBCU, still going to school, like to hear your name called, like that's something I never got a chance to experience, bro. So every time I get a chance to talk to somebody that yeah. got that, I kind of lived through that. Like, what was that experience? Um, I had my mindset that I was going. Seventh to un- undrafted, I ain't want. I didn't have the mindset of like, all right, you can be going here, you can mm-hmm. be going here, because I ain't wanted to be all like anxious and ner- nervous, you know. I didn't even have wanted people at the house. I just right. wanted to be my my mom or dad, you know, people like that. So then, day three come and it's like, hey, it's a chance you might get taken. I'm like, ooh, my hands start sweating. <laughs> I'm, I got both of my phones on me. Yeah. I'm like, man, this might be the day right here. Yeah. So like, it was like the, the Ravens might take you. And they had like four draft picks in the third round. So I'm like, boom, they going, boom, boom. I'm like, they get down to the last one. I'm like, all right, I'm looking at my phone. It's like, ah, oh, they ain't take me. So it was like, man, whatever. So at this point, like, I'm stressed. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man. And then I'm looking at everybody in the house and they looking at me. I'm like, man, come on, bro. Like this ain't even. So then the fourth round come, picks going by. I seen my boy Dane get uh picked up by the Giants. Then I'm like, dang, 
Then they took my dog. Uh, he went to HBCU too. Shout out to him because he uh he went to the Chiefs. He don't mm. win two Super Bowls. Got him. Stupies. <laughs> two Super Bowls. Stupies. Joshua Williams. He a cornerback for the Chiefs. So uh so then 142nd pick come. I get a call from LA and the phone hang up. They hung up, bro. Like I'm like, oh. I look at my I look at my dog, my uh, manager JR. I'm like, JR, it say LA. So he like, call him back. So right when I was calling back, they uh Sean McVay was calling. So I picked it up and we talked. I like walked in the room. Like, bro, I ain't had no emotion. Like, I ain't cried, no nothing. Like, I was just like still shocked. Like, right. These folks really just called like, me. Like, like these folks what, just really just seven called round, me. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, dang, I just knew I was going like seven undrafted. I was like, I'm I'm gonna get my name called, but like it ain't gonna be this early. Mm -hmm. Bro, that, that phone call came through. I was shook. Like, I was just like. I couldn't even, well, I got on the mm. phone. The only thing I was saying was, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> That's it. There's a repeat. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That moment, bro, that joint was crazy. And then just to hear, like, everybody in the house go crazy, bro. Because, like, we been through it with my brother, Mike. Mm -hmm. He got picked up in uh, fifth round to the Cowboys back in 09. Oh, so, so you, like, you went, you went, you went, you went first. You yeah. So, Earlier, you, you know got the bragging rights in yeah, the house. Yeah. I got the bragging right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that just a, that was just like an unbelievable moment for me, especially you know. I feel like it was bigger than me. Like I did it for my homeboys, like right. the ones that was in school with me. Cause like we seen Dash Leonard them go, but mm -hmm. like it's different when you like you tight with somebody and like y'all going through that, y'all playing together, y'all play every year together, and like. They seeing like, bro, this dude really put in the work right. like to get where he at. Right. It's like we all win. Yeah. You know so they feed all they're using you as that motivation. Yeah. And whatever they doing now might not be playing ball, mm -hmm. but I guarantee you, just by seeing you make it, you done instilled a different drive and hunger in them. Yeah. And like, and you know like, what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna sell them short. Like they ask me any questions, like, just cause I'm on this stage now, but like they can call me anytime. Like mm -hmm. I got boys going through the process now. They be calling me. I might not answer that first time but if I see that missed call I'm gonna call them back because I know mm -hmm. they call them about this process right and I know I like you just I know this process can be hard and like especially coming from where we come from so I understand so like I'm always got that I'm always one phone phone call away yeah I, I like to do that same thing too bro like I mean before the portal became a thing a lot of people used to call me about transferring like a lot of the little homies used to call me like hey how you transfer how you do this how you do that and it's like bro like I went through it, so y'all don't have to. Like y'all don't have to yeah. bump y'all head. Like I'm, I'm an open book. You, yeah, feel nah, me? you was OD on last chance. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> last chance, you, you was OD on that moment. Yeah, but you feel me? Like I took the, I took the, I took the bumps and bruises and learned how to move maneuver before. You know what I'm saying? Now, luckily, you know players get the right away to control their own destiny. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know that's crazy. But what was your um your welcome to the NFL moment? Oh man, training camp. I was guarding Cooper Cook. Mm, this yeah. after the uh, Triple Crown? Right yeah. after? Right after. <laughs> so he's still steaming. I mean, I mean <laughs> <laughs> he feel, he's, he's still, still feeling cooking. himself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, I was, we was playing, I was playing good defense on him. You know, the whole, like, the whole time. Like, you know, I'm like, it's like, dang, like, I'm really sticking with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you triple feel crown, like I can do I'm this. Yeah, good. Like, yeah. Man, he went up top on me, bro. When he caught that hoe, he AI that hoe behind his back and ran into the end zone. No way. And looked back at me like, I'm I still got that you. guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woke <Welcome>, rook. <laughs> no That's my way. dog, though, bro. Like, every time I see him, I'll be like, what's up, big brother? He's like, man, what's up with you, man? That boy went straight professor in there. Yeah. You did. You see me? And he caught that hoe and put that hoe behind his back. <laughs> That was my that was my welcome to the NFL moment. Man, y'all had you got a chance to play with some dogs, man. Still do like I mean, you got Aaron Donald. Oh yeah. You got uh you just had Bobby Wagner, Len, uh, Leonard Leonard Floyd yep. Flo. You had Jalen Ram. You had psh, who else? Oh, what's the DBs? Marcus uh not Marcus uh I played with Troy Hill. Um uh, other big right. Big time player, big time There's player. There's another like that. DB I'm thinking of. I ain't played with Marcus anybody. Peters. Then go, nah, wasn't there, was he? he? Went, nah, he wasn't there. Mm -mm. There was somebody who was in the Rams jersey. 
twin thing. So. I don't know, but either way, back to the point. You done played with a lot of a lot of dogs, bro. Like, what bits and pieces have you picked up from certain greats like Aaron Donald and, and people that you've been around with and, and been lucky to play with? Play with from Aaron Donald, bro. I say attack every day like he was undrafted. He still do that to this day, and he admit like he got millions. Mm -hmm. I ain't. I don't know nobody that outwork him, and like just seeing him like like bro, he'll go in there. Do a crazy bench and then go rip out two twenty five like thirty something times. Like, bro, you you don't have to live no more. <laughs> like, I, I call I call him money, so I'd be like, money, what? Like, what yeah. you doing? Like, money, you ain't even working hard, man. He be in there getting it. Yeah. But he'll go he go before workout, after workout, like, bro, he, like he be getting it in. It shows you feel me, like. One of the slogans that we we got on the show, like you can't cheat the grind. Like that shit always show. Yeah. Like, you know, the little bit that they always show Aaron Donald doing a crazy shit. It was just like, yeah, that's that's that. But like you don't you don't end up getting named the arguably the one of the best players to ever play the game at well, defense. Think, not having to work ethic he do. I don't know. I think he been like 99 overall every year except his rookie year, I think. Right. Ain't by no coincidence either, cause it show up every time, <laughs> bro. Like, and he's like, bro, he od good, bro. I mean, he put the 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 exclamation on the Super Bowl himself, oh, the yeah, last yeah. one they won. I wish I was then. I wish I was dead in. <laughs> yeah, but you. But speaking of that, yeah. you walked in right yeah, after. I walked in right after. I know so, LA like, was on one. It was up. I know I mean, LA it was, was on. Still, it was still up, but like not from like from what I heard when they won it. Yeah, it was going crazy then. But speak like, to that. Cause bro, you coming from South Carolina, town of eight hundred, to L A, a big culture shock, big culture shock, bro. That's like first of all, total opposite sides of the country, Tell and me. then total different spectrums of where of, of your lifestyle. Yeah, lifestyle kind of sped up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Like. I'm still tight with a dollar now. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you got to be because LA yeah. going to tap them pockets. Yeah, for, for <laughs> LA so, going to tap them pockets. So, but like the biggest thing was like, I'm three hours behind and like I'm sleeping. Like my folks back home calling me yeah. and I'm asleep. Like yeah. this ain't the time to be calling. Like, yeah, that, you know yeah, saying? that but time like, the traffic, if it take you like 20 minutes to get somewhere, if that traffic got there, it's going to take about an hour. <sighs> 40 minutes, something Sound like, like that. Sound like Georgia, bro. Yeah, it's gonna get, it's, that traffic gonna get you. I always run into traffic, leaving work though. Going to work on the straight, but when we get off and done with everything, you get in traffic, it probably take me about 40 minutes to get home. Man, I know it's always something going to LA, like, you know, that's a big flashy city and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like, they, they showing love to the Rams players? Yeah. They showing love? Yeah. You just gotta, Cause you know that's you know, a money town, so like, yeah. they gonna make you spend it before they show the love. Yeah, I feel yeah, like they, they, they for sure. You still <laughs> gonna spend for sure, but you know you run into some good people. You run into some good people. They'll, yeah, they'll uh, look out for you. Yeah, a little mm -hmm. discount. Yeah, <laughs> not a, too a much. Small though. Yeah. Discount. What's your uh, craziest Hollywood story? You were all action that. I don't really got no crazy Hollywood story, bro. But like anybody you came across that you was like kind of like starstruck, like, oh damn, like what? Karuchi. <laughs> I went, <laughs> I went to court side. Jalen took me court side to no, uh, the Lakers game. Lakers game, right? He, like he texted in the group chat, like, you know what I'm saying? Who wanna go? You know what I'm saying? Everybody was like, they had something to do. I ain't had nothing to do. So yeah, I'll meet you there. Court side, I'm there. Court side, I'm there. Brum, brum. Brian, <laughs> Brian, Brian, uh, went there, man. man. I look on the, on the thing, on the jumbo. Didn't even know I walked past Caruso. Oh I was no! Like, Went the double back. What? I'm <laughs> to tell you. That lady knows she fine, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah, nah, for sure. That was like that was that was my biggest moment. Like, did you get a chance to meet her? Mm -mm. Nah. I so who's who's like one of the. Uh, craziest interactions that you actually got to meet since being, you know, out there in LA. Mm. Whether it be, you know, famous celebrity or whatnot, who it, it just don't matter who 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 caught your eye. That was like, dang, that's crazy. Um, my brother, best friend, like an actor, so he like, well, I wouldn't say like an actor, he is an actor, and like he cool with Desi Banks. 
So, Fuck with Desi. That's my you know boy. What I'm Shout he, out to Desi. He uh, you know, we got in cool together, and uh, you know, we all went out to eat. Yeah. Know? And I met Desi Banks, and I'm like, dang. Like this dude, yeah, really, fine. I was gonna, this funny. dude, this dude really funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, Desi so, funny you know what I'm saying? too. Yeah, we yeah. chopping it up. You know what I'm saying? Then like he ended up coming back to LA one more time, and we all went out to eat again. And then uh, I had promised him I'd get him a, a you know official jersey. Mm-hmm. I did that for him. You know what I'm saying? He appreciated that. So I say Desi. Yeah, Desi, sure. Desi a real one. Yeah, he be tapped yeah, in yeah, on yeah, yeah, shit. Sure. Hey, yeah. So man, you know y'all had a great season this past year. Um. But that, that that wild card game, you know, y'all unfortunately took the took the L 23-24 to the Lions. It was golf versus Stafford. Yeah. So take us through that game, because that, that was that was a good ass game. But it was a really like high emotional stakes type game, too. Yeah. Uh Detroit Lions Stadium ain't really that big. That well, much. compared to y'all shit, ain't nobody the shit that big. <laughs> but, but I'm saying like they had that whole packed up. Yeah. It was crazy loud in there. You know, I think it was like their first like little playoff run in a, in a long minute. In a long time. Right. So, you know, and then it's like Matthew Stafford returning. Mm-hmm. And he getting all the boos and odds, you know. So it's like, dang, like Matt used to go crazy in here. Yeah. With Megatron, then Megatron was there. So it was like, dang, like. Yeah. <laughs> You got to do. You, you got to come in. You got to come in. For, in, for you know bro, at least. You know what I'm saying? You got to play. You got to play ball now. So. But that environment was crazy. You know, it was my first playoff game. Um, they they taxed me well on my chip. Mm-hmm. That hurt me. Mm-hmm. So I got I took two L's. Oof, two L's. That's that's that's, that's tough. Real tough. That's tough. <laughs> I couldn't even get what I wanted to get. You know what I'm saying? Because right. of the taxes. But you know, it's cool. Mm-hmm. So like leading up to that 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 last drive, like what was that? Take us in, into that. Um, the last drive of that game. Because yeah. y'all had the game. Yeah, we had the game. We just couldn't let them get a first down. Right. I think it was like third and some chains, I think. I want to say it was like second and some chains. Uh, I'm on J-Mo on the outside. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm reading, taking my read still. And I see like he ain't really, like he like picked up his speed a little bit. And when I seen him chop down, I thought he, he was going to come back. And I thought golf was coming my way. Mm-hmm. On my mama, he threw it. I would have I would have called game. On my mama, I would have <laughs> called to that out to the crib. But they ended up throwing it to uh St. Brown. And the guy that was guarding him, Quentin Lake, they played high school ball together. Mm. So like that was like a, a moment. Mama, right, yeah, right, you know right. what I'm saying? That was I felt like they made that like a little moment. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like whoever, but you know, he got the best of my dog, but you know, yeah. It's all right. I mean it's football. Yeah, man. So what, what you you going into year three? What what can the fans expect from you and in the twenty twenty four Rams? What y'all looking like? Man, honestly, picking up where we we left off, and a lot of people didn't think we was gonna be where we was gonna be last year because of all the people we let go, mm-hmm. and then coming off of like five and thirty uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> games. You know what I'm saying? The games we won last, uh, my rookie year, we only won five games, so it's like. They don't know what the round's gonna be. Right. And now it's like, shoot, we just went to the playoffs. We had all those superstars yeah. in my rookie year and didn't have half as many as, you know, this year. Yeah. So it's like, man, I'm I'm honestly I'm I wanna witness it again. Like I wanna see what what what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Cause I feel like we you we can get back to that point. Mm-hmm. You know, you go through this draft class, you know. You know how the league is. Yeah, man. yeah. You never know. A little rotation. You don't know who gonna be on your <laughs> yeah. team each week. Yeah, <laughs> that's you true. You don't know who. You don't know who gonna be on the team each week. You right. know what I'm saying? Well, you see, you know, it's the off season right now while we're recording this. You down here with your Murph putting in the yeah. work. So you know, what's what's a couple things that you looking forward to? You know, expanding your game this year, taking it to another level. Um, going into year three. Going into year three, man. Just probably you know being a more efficient tackler for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Having that body on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because like I'm hitting him. But they ain't really going down, you know what I'm saying? Big ass dudes out there. You feel me? Like I hit, I hit uh Jalen Hurts, and it's like he just bounced right <laughs> off, you know? Because like I'm, I'm going, I'm like running full speed, right. going through the legs, and he just like boom, like oh, he bounce off. Power lifting and all that. You other feel shit. me? He like he just school, bounce yeah, off, yeah. and it's like dang. And then you know, of course the fans gonna mm-hmm. be like, oh he sucks, he can't tackle. I'm mm-hmm. like man. I, 
fans can't do they can't do half the stuff we do. Right. You know what I'm saying? The the roles are reversed. Right. Put put that put that fan yeah, in, gonna in, 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 in that jersey. That bounce off gonna look a whole lot worse. That bounce off gonna look a whole lot worse. You feel me? <laughs> so like, you know what I'm saying? And that's one of the things, you know, as an athlete, bro, you gotta stay away from. You can't let the fans, you know, right. get into your head because then you can you can get put into a little dark spot. And right. You gonna Start going downhill. Yeah, and that's true. Like you definitely gotta just what they say, keep your head down and just work, bro. Yeah. Cause you know what I'm saying, don't don't pick up. Yeah, Cause the moment you pick sure. up, somebody looking to to tear you down. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But you know what you put into it, mm -hmm. they don't. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Fans only get to see what, 17, 18, yep. Saturdays, Sundays. Like, bitch, Dang. you got down there 365 yeah. out of this shit that I've you gotta put in work. For a long time. Like that shit just it is what it is at the end of the day. Right. So before you go out ahead, man, like to the kids that's in the HBCUs, the next, you know, the next class, the next, the next, the next group of fellas about to come in this draft or that's just now going to HBCUs, leaving with some, you know, coming from a, 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 a NFL starter mm -hmm. that got drafted from a small school, small town. Yeah. Some words of wisdom that you can leave with that kid right now. Um, I'll say, man. It really don't matter about the school you go to. Facts. It just, you know, when that opportunity is given, take advantage of those opportunities. And like, have some self-motivation. You know what I'm saying? Figure out your why. When you figure out your why, man, attack that why. Like, you doing, you, mm -hmm. I'm doing it for this. Mm -hmm. Like, my why was my little sisters. Like, they got to a point like it was like, you know, she all I got. Mm -hmm. That's how I kind of like wanted to put it. And it kind of like motivated me. You know what I'm saying? I got to go. I got to go to school. I got to show her the right way. You right. know what I'm saying? Because like she growing up now. So my sister 12 and like she don't want she don't really want to do no sports and nothing. She right. want to do like hair and stuff like right. that. Right but it's like, man, once you figure out that why, man, you know, you take it and run with it. And then when you get under those, you know, those, those bright lights, man, don't fold, man. Just be you. You ain't try, don't try to be like nobody else, just play ball. Yeah. And one thing I always like to say is just another day. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Don't try to make no day bigger than the other. Mm -hmm. That way you just do what you always do. Like yeah. just cause the stage bigger, it's just like you was when you was yeah. back at home doing what you're doing on the regular mm -hmm. stage. Yeah. What's um what's some of the things that you know you do off the field, where there's, you know, investments, you know, philanthropy, like you got any things that you're doing off the field or um, that you'd like to do in your free time? I like the fish, bro. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right fishing? now, I ain't really, I ain't really in doing no investments or nothing right now. Uh, I'm probably gonna start this year. Mm -hmm. uh, but like going fishing, I met I met a guy in uh, L.A. because I usually go fishing back home with my uncle and his uh, son. But uh, I met a guy in L.A. I'm probably gonna start fishing with him this year. Mm -hmm. so, you, know, you gotta get out while you while you here in Tampa. There's some good fishing around and here then too. Party, cause I don't like bro. Like in L.A., it's like. On Monday, we got this junk called Kingpin Mondays. Mm -hmm. Go to the bowling alley. It's like a club slash bowling alley. Lit. Then I be lit. Lit. <laughs> lit. But I like, like, I don't drink during the season, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? I go the whole season. No alcohol. You know what I'm saying? But all season. It's up. It's up. And when people don't realize off season really only like two months. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's like, it's only, you, you deserve that after, yeah. all, after all the commitment and sacrifice yeah, so like, you made. Two, two like, months you deserve to get, hang out for a little bit. When it get like training count time, that's when I cut it off. Like, Lock back in. Yeah, yeah man. Man, where, where the people can find you at on the socials code? Uh, find me on Instagram at one four underscore error. O-N-E-4 underscore E-R-A. -E Man, bro, I appreciate you, you know, stopping by, chopping it up with us, bro. You know, it's all love. Appreciate you having me. We're looking forward to yeah. season three. Expect the big things, oh, yeah. man. Y'all keep tuned. Appreciate y'all for checking in on another episode of A Thousand Hours Out the Mud. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on all the socials, wherever you at. We at A-H-O-T-M underscore. Make sure you tap in, turn on your post notifications. And don't forget, you can't cheat the grind. Got to put in the time. Mm -hmm. Thousand hours out of mud till next time. Love. That's